Welcome back to this channel. Thanks for checking in. In this video, we're going to try and run a Tesla coil off a Mazzilli driver. Now let me explain. Solid state Tesla coils have a secondary coil, which you can see here, the thin windings, a metal toroid, that resonate at a certain frequency, generate a resonating electric field, which is picked up by the driver circuitry and fed back into the power for the Tesla coil. So basically, it's being driven, the, the secondary coil is being driven at its resonant frequency. And the primary coil that drives the secondary in a regular solid state Tesla coil is out of resonance. So you've got a non-resonant primary driving a secondary at its resonant frequency. So with this particular setup, I have a Mazzilli driver right here. There are two uh, IRFP250 transistors or MOSFETs that drive this Mazzilli, Mazzilli circuitry. I have three, uh, 33 nanofarads of capacitance and I have a five turn, three and a half inch primary coil. And the resonant frequency of the primary coil is 400, 408 kilohertz with this particular setup. Now the resonant frequency of this secondary is 428 kilohertz. So the primary and secondary resonant frequencies are close enough that I should be able to see some output from the secondary coil. Now of course, like a regular solid state Tesla coil, there is no electronic isolation of the high voltage from the low voltage components. So there is a high risk of transistor failure and I'm hoping that won't happen. So what we're going to do is get this Mazzilli driver going. It should drive this primary at 408 kilohertz with my five turns primary and my 33 nanofarads of capacitance in the tank circuit. And hopefully we'll see some output. So I have a 30 volt power supply that's capable of putting out 360 watts. And this is a switching power supply. So if anything goes wrong and there's a short circuit, it's gonna cut the power source. Okay, I have everything turned on. Now let's see if we got output. And yep, we do have some pretty good output from the coil. It's not breaking out spontaneously. There's a little bit of breakout when I put the, the screwdriver near it, but this is non-grounded. See if we get anything off the toy. Yep. So it, it does, the concept does seem to be working. Continuous output, so I bet it's driving up the, the power on those transistors. Now let's see what it does with a little neon bulb. I'm going to bring that near. And that lights from quite a distance. I can really move that far away from it and it's still lighting. At a long distance. Let's see what a CFL does. Here's a CFL. That lights. So definitely this is working. Let's see what a regular light bulb does. The argon is lighting up inside the bulb, as you can see there. Very cool. So basically it works. So we've got a Tesla core here that's being driven directly from a Mazzilli, from a Mazzilli driver that's close to the resonant frequency of the secondary. And I had to independently measure the resonant frequency of the five turn primary and the resonant frequency of the secondary with the toroid connected to make sure that they were close. Otherwise, this is not going to work. And we can try it with another coil that's going to be out of resonance and see what that does. So here's a taller coil, which is definitely going to be out of resonance. And let's see what that looks like in terms of output. Connect it up. It's a very little output, as you can see there. There are only tiny little sparks much less output than on the prior coil. So this is definitely holding true that you need a resonant secondary with a resonant primary to work optimally.
So we're back to the shorter coil now. And of course, much better output as you can see here. Proving that it's not a transformer effect since I'm using actually a smaller coil and getting more voltage. So this is, this is resonance, as you can see here. And uh, a nice example of how you can use a Mazzilli driver to drive a Tesla coil. So you don't need any special driving circuitry, just a couple of transistors and your Mazzilli set up, and it works great. Here's some gas filled tubes. This one's got iodine gas in it. Easily lights those tubes. Here's one with helium in it. Thanks for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Please check back for more videos.